Welcome to Messina. It's a harbour city. The ship's right behind me. You don't need a shuttle bus. You just walk straight in and we're going to explore. We've sailed down the Messina Straits before, but we've never stopped here, so this time we're lucky. The hop-on, hop-off bus is right by the harbour gates, and it's normally discounted because of the competition from the trolley train. This is the town hall, so I nearly didn't look inside, but come with me. There's a display of historical costumes. Everything appears to be within walking distance. We'll tell you at the end of the day. I learn from this letter that Don Pedro of Aragon comes this night to Messina. Much to do about nothing, William Shakespeare. Right next to the cathedral are the remains of St. James's Church. Archaeological excavations carried out by the Cultural Heritage Department of Messina between 2000 and 2006 unearthed the southern aisle and partially the central nave of the church devoted to St. James the Apostle. The Norman Messina Cathedral with its Gothic portal and 15th century windows stands right next to the clock tower and together they are the most important landmarks of Messina. The bell tower, the Campanile, is a monumental astronomical clock and it was built between 1930 and 1933 and the architect was from Palermo. At noon on a Sunday, the clock performs a concert. Yes, the clock obviously recorded music, but the icons and statues around the clock bow and move. We have a lot to cover, so we expect to be up the mountain by then. Let's see if we make it. But you can imagine them moving. Right next to the bell tower is the marble statue of Orion, which is decorated with mythical figures. Unfortunately, we can't see it in all its glory today because they're restoring it. We've just struck lucky. We climbed up to the church of Maria de Montalto. We've got this beautiful view down over the square and they're playing a concert outside the church down there. If you love churches, you'll be in heaven here and we've come on a Sunday. When we're filming Doris Visits, we really try and find something unusual for you, something that you wouldn't normally see. Unfortunately, in Messina, we... Oh, hang on a minute. This is what you see if you come out of the back of uh, the Shrine of Our Lady de Montalto, down the steps.
And they don't tell you about this fountain in the guidebook. This is the falconry fountain. And we're still not far from the ship. The bus and the train stops at the Temple of Cristo Rey and the Medieval Tower. You do have to pay to go in here. We're walking because we're trying to use up the calories from last night's dinner. But there's a fantastic view of everything. You can see everything in Messina from here. Just up the hill is the Cathedral Arcimandritato, or the Chiesa San Salvatore, and they've just had their morning service because it's Sunday today. The original courts were destroyed by the earthquake in 1908, so the new courts have been designed with a classic feel. This quite unusual church is called the Church Sanctuary of Mount Carmel, and this is the Garden of St. Maria. The Vittorio Emanuele Theatre is one of the most important examples of neoclassical architecture from the pre-earthquake city. The statue of Neptune was considered one of the finest in the European Renaissance and it stands in front of the Palazzo del Governo. There is a tram, as well as the hop-on, hop-off bus route, there's a tram that goes along here to take you to the beach. It's quite a long way along. At the end of the tram line, just past the first beach, is the regional museum. It's just across the road. The entrance for the museum is at the side. You come around the side. These look like the mud walls from Troy. Giovanni Salvo D'Antonio.
most ancient Doric temple in Western Greece dates back to the 6th century BC and was built for Apollo. And just behind it is a market. In the middle of the square is this beautiful fountain for Artemis or Diana in English. Very clever idea in Sicily. They know the grandparents are coming and they can embroider your name on anything so you can take it home, personalized gift. Wow. The cathedral is the core of Syracuse. 